If you want to create a dynamic chart like this, where you can control the chart using option buttons. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Step one is to insert option buttons. So what I'll do, I'll go to developer tab and click on insert drop down and enter my first option button. Now I'll copy it and paste it three more times. And now I have four option buttons and I will arrange them in uh, order. So arranging them, the next thing is to right click on the first option button and then go to format control. And in the cell link, I need to select a cell where I'm going to connect all these option buttons. So I'll select cell A1, go back and click OK. But before clicking OK, I'll also tick mark 3D shading and then click OK. Now you can see when I select the first option button and then the third one, the second one and the fourth one. So that's how the number is changing. Now the next thing is to get the data. So I'm going to use this function called filter, select my main data that I have here. So I'll leave the first row that is the heading row. I'll come back, go to include argument and then select the quarter column. And after that, I'll specify my condition. That's Q, ampersand and number from this cell, which is the cell A1. And now I'm going to close my function. So you can see I have data for quarter one. And when I select the second option button, I get data for Q2, Q3 and Q4. Now the next thing is to select this data or I can just select these two columns, go to insert tab, click on 2D column and insert a 2D column chart. Now the next thing is to press the keyboard shortcut control and one and from this format chart area, I'm going to go to borders, tick mark rounded corners, increase the width and close it. Now I have this dynamic chart that I can control with these option buttons. The last thing is to rename these buttons. So what I'll do, I'll right click, edit text and I'm going to say Q1. And here I have my dynamic chart ready to control with option buttons. Subscribe for more and level up your Excel game.